everybody. There is a new algorithm that's been added to the Eventide H90 called Polyflex. I want to go over a few fun little things you can do with Polyflex in today's video. I'm currently playing a PRS DGT straight into the H90. I'm coming out in stereo into a pair of amps in my Axe FX3. This is my cleanish tone. I'm using the tapped neck pickup on the guitar. <laughs> So Polyflex is a dual polyphonic pitch shifter. You can kind of think of it like a dual whammy style effect that will let you whammy single notes or chords. Lots of parameters going on in here, but essentially you've got the two voices and a level control, a preset shift amount per voice. You've got a flex amount, which is the amount it will pitch shift when engaged. You can add detune, you can pan each of the voices, you can basically dial in the manual amount of flex as a percentage of the interval that you've got set to flex. So I'm currently going an octave up on one voice and an octave down on another, no manual flex in there. And you've got an auto engage option on here so that if you don't use the flex or the kind of whammy aspect of it, which can be activated either with an external controller or one of the onboard foot switches, then having auto engage on simply bypasses the effect and you get your dry signal. When you hit that flex or the dual flex button, either on the unit or with an external controller, then the effect will kick in. You can set the kind of rise and fall time for the flex as well as the auto engage hold time. So basically this entire bottom row of parameters is kind of set and forget once you've done it. And then everything else is just setting how much of a shift you want and how much you want to be able to vary that shift using the flex button. I should let you hear it. This one's set up, like I said, to go up an octave and down an octave in stereo simultaneously. Check it out. That's the way I've been using this once I kind of figured that out. I was like, oh, this is absolutely awesome. Of course, you could set it up as just a traditional whammy. For example, I could take uh, just voice A over here. I could pan it down the middle. I can set the level on voice B all the way off. That is not doing anything now. And now I'm just going to get an octave up whammy style effect. If I'm using an external, say, expression pedal, I can set that up so that I can use that to do the flex amount. I would assign that to the manual flex amount in there and you know, just use my foot like a whammy. But if I go for a lower flex time on here, this is going to make it a much faster rise to pitch. And similarly, I can have a slower rise to pitch on here. Let's not do an octave. Let's do maybe just a second on here so that I can kind of set it up as like a little pitch bend. Check it out. <laughs> Pretty nifty, that's a very, very fun technique to do with any whammy style thing. Uh, what's cool is you could set up single notes. You could set up two different intervals on here and kind of bend into chords. So let's do uh, just a simple minor third here, and then we'll set up voice B to be, say, a perfect fifth. So we can take a single note and turn it into a triad. I'll bring up the level on B, I will pan B down the center for now, and you know, we can go for maybe a slightly longer flex time on here and also add a bit of detune if I want it to kind of sound, you know, a little more natural or go for like a 12 string style effect. So check this out. <laughs> Pretty 
really interesting having it set to uh, like minor chords or major chords, of course, you know, you probably want to play a little bit more diatonic or something like that. Setting it up for uh, suspended chords or something like that might be more interesting. For example, I could do, let's do this, let's do a fifth on here and then we'll add a 12th on top of all of that and I'll kind of pan it out a little bit as well. That should be pretty fun. So we go up a perfect 12th and let's just kind of go pan a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right over there. What can I do? Maybe a slightly longer return time, flex time I'll turn down. Having auto engage on there is awesome. I haven't touched auto engage hold time, but it's an option if you want it. I'm going to engage a delay on the H90 as well just so we can hear this effect in full flight. It's pretty cool. some kind of pog inspired tones out of this. I'm going to go for hard panning on these two voices and you notice that I've set shift A and shift B to be unison to start with. What I'm going to do is set shift A and shift D, B, not shift D, to be an octave down respectively and then I'm going to set up the flex amounts. One of them, let's take flex A, will have it come up two whole octaves and then flex B will have it come down one octave. So the net effect on here is gonna be pretty interesting. This first octave down is gonna go up two octaves to an octave up, and then the original octave down is gonna to go to a sub octave on there. This is pretty wild. I'll go for slightly shorter flex times and return times on here as well. I'm also gonna turn auto engage off, and I'll set the mix to around 50% on here so I get some of my dry signal through there.
as with anything Eventide Pitch Shift, this does not disappoint. You can go from pretty vanilla stuff like the sort of whammy dive bombs or octaves up to doing stuff that is pretty out of this world, combining it with reverb and delay and polyphonically bending chords and having voices that go up on one side of the stereo spectrum and that go down on the other and engaging and disengaging them. It's really, really enjoyable with clean sounds, with dirty sounds in combination with other effects. It's a pretty awesome addition to the roster of new algorithms on the H90. And I really hope Eventide kind of go in this direction where they add things that aren't necessarily available in other pedals, sort of unique H90 style stuff. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Anyway, this update is available for free for existing H90 users. So you can grab it, you can make some noise with it. And if you like what I'm doing, on the channel, you can check the video description to support what I'm doing. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah.